so for instance, my experience often dating spewers Mm -hmm. is they'll just kind of start going and talking through their feelings. And to me with my tour lens, I'm like, oh, I, I guess that's your final decision on this or that's how you feel about this or like, okay. And sometimes that can actually be very distressing if someone's really delivering kind of a half-baked thought uh-huh. or they're not really sure what they're feeling. And then on the other side for the spewers that are in relationship with the chewers, they can feel like I'm being stonewalled, I'm being abandoned, or my partner is numbing out, or they're tuning me out, or something like that, right? And so we found that landing on this framework, first of all, it was mostly helpful just in having awareness, right? And being able to know which side you land on, and then using that as a jumping off point with you and your partner to figure out what are some ways that we can work around this? What are some ways we can better understand each other in this that doesn't require us to have to completely change the way that you individually process? So that's spewers and chewers in a nutshell. That's so good. 